Nerima, what do you make of these tickets, both sides? Ruto, Rigadi, Raila, Karua. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting political season uh, just because even when I look at the image of Rigade and Karua, as much as they have their own political journeys, uh, Karua's is very long. Uh, Honorable Karua, starting in politics in her 20s, is something not to take for granted. And it's a typical picture of how much women have to do to reach almost the same or similar level compared to a man. And, and I say this because he has a family history of being in politics, a brother who was also in politics. And he sort of kind of entered politics after the passing of his brother. And so for Karua, she's somebody who entered politics at a young age in university, entered um, law, senior council, and continued to rise amongst that rank, being a first member of parliament as a woman within her community, and still continued to vie as president as much as it was after Honorable Charity Ngilu. So for me, when I look at both of the tickets, it's going to be what are we going to be looking at, especially yeah. with young people? Um, what's going to be important to them? Because a lot of times we talk about manifestos, and it's going to matter, because mm -hmm. people are going to be concerned about the economy, but we're also concerned about the corruption in our country. We want something to be done. We cannot continue to see development, and we're still losing resources toward corruption. So integrity is going to be key. Principality is going to be key. Justice is going to be key, which is also her docket. Yeah. So I think it's going to be interesting to see whether it's going to work in her favor or yeah. regardless. How, how important is the gender card? Because there are quite a number of people who say it's not about the gender, it's about the agenda. It's true. I, it's important, but I wouldn't say it's the main conversation because a lot of times when we do talk about women in leadership, we front the gender card first. And frankly, like I just said, I have mentioned her history. Um, she has so much more and richness in her history, and then she's also a woman. So I would say it's important uh, because, you know, like previously mentioned, it means a lot to young women and girls to be able to see this happening, and it is a reality for us as well, mm -hmm. that we can also choose and aspire to be uh, a leader in this country, the leader of this country. But it's also a symbolism. Yeah. When we think about the presidency, it's a symbolic image of national unity. And since the beginning of our country, really, it's birth independence, it's like we only have one particular gender that lives in this nation. <laughs> I mean, there are others. We are here as well. And, and we should not be treated as invisible. Yeah. So I think it's, it's key it to also see that, that as a citizen, I'm living and breathing, and I exist, and there's someone who can be like me on that podium, on that platform. Yeah.